how to integrate Webflow with Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with building your Shopify store on Webflow. So we all know that Shopify is a great tool to use when you're trying to build your online presence, especially in terms of e-commerce. But sometimes web designing can get a bit boring using Shopify. And there comes our savior Webflow, which allows you to create an amazing website. So firstly, you're going to sign up for Webflow and I'm going to teach you guys how you can link your Shopify store and build it off on Webflow. However, one thing to note is that this is not a direct integration. You can't directly connect both of these, but there are some third party tools that are available that allow you to do so. So we're going to be using one of those. It's a trusted tool and it's very reliable as well. So you don't have to worry. And let's jump right in. Now, to get started, I have logged on to my Webflow account. If you don't have one already, it is uh, free to create. You don't have to pay Webflow. They have some premium plans available, but for their free plan, you can create two pages and 50 CMS items, 20 CMS collections, and you can have upwards of 50 form submissions. So you can just log on, register with your email address, and that is all you have to do. Now, once we have created our Webflow account, I like to do this all on the same browser so it makes it easier for me. You're going to go ahead and go into Shopify. And once you do that, you're going to go into settings on the left. Once you go on to settings on the left, click on apps and sales channels. Then you're going to click on your Shopify app store. Now, once you open up the Shopify app store, you're simply going to search for Webflow or you can just search for Loop. Loop is a web page builder that allows you to connect Webflow and Shopify. So you guys can see this is Loop over here and they have a free plan available as well. The free version allows you to publish your Webflow IO, subdomains, sync your Shopify products and variants onto your Webflow site, as well as track your real-time inventory, link your Shopify markets and have your product visibility. However, Loop branding does remain on your pages. With Loop Plus, you have everything with the free plan and then you also have Shopify checkouts and the ability to remove all types of Loop branding. So just click on install over here and once you do click on install, you have to create a Loop account. Now, a Loop account is going to allow you to connect the Shopify store to Webflow. And it's really important to uh, sign up on Loop as well. This is why I like to do it all on the same browser because it's just going to make it easier because it can just cross uh, link everything and you don't have to manually log into everything over and over again. So simply install the Loop application onto your Shopify store. Once you do that, it will redirect you to the Shopify connection connection where you're going to authorize loop and you're going to let loop be connected to Shopify. So firstly, you're going to log into your loop account. I already have a loop account. If you don't have one, you can easily just sign up with your email address. And once you have uh, signed up with your email address, uh, that is all you have to do. You don't have to, uh, you know, uh, pay or anything. Initially, I don't recommend even going for the paid plan because first, you're going to be able to do everything that you need for Shopify store basics with the free plan as well. So click on add new store and you're going to add your store name. Let's say my store name is Emerald and then I'll just click on save over here and a new store setup will be created. Now I'm going to connect my store with Webflow. So I'm just going to click on reconnect over here. And this will be my Webflow connection. So this is automatically detecting that I have logged on to Webflow. So I'm just going to authorize this application to access Webflow. Now, once I have done that, we're going to wait for the connection to be completed. And once we have connected Webflow, we can, it has disconnected again. So sometimes this type of issue might happen. You might have to refresh everything, but that's all right. It only, you know, it only takes a couple of minutes once it does start working properly. And for some reason, it has decided not to do that today, <laughs> but that's all right. We're just going to refresh our application and we're going to refresh our Shopify store as well to ensure that everything is synced up. So once I've done that, 
I'm going to go ahead and open up loop again. We're just going to reopen this. Once we have reopened it, we can see this is what our loop dashboard is going to look like. Now, in our homepage, we're going to find our products, variants, collections, all that stuff from Shopify. And we're going to see if it is syncing up already. Yeah, it currently hasn't synced up. So I'm going to go ahead and go into stores. And then in my all stores, I'm going to go into my store called emerald like so and once i open up my store it's time to start linking it so we're gonna click on start over here and once we click on start we can click on connected site we're gonna click on change site and then we're gonna reconnect to our store like i'm gonna go ahead and create a new site using a template first we did not have a template loaded up that is why we're having a little bit trouble with connecting both of these that's an itsy bitsy mistake that i made i'm gonna use the starter template and this is just lily stellar site i'm gonna wait for this to be added to webflow you don't want to publish your webflow site beforehand you just want to load up your template or just build a draft and then just save that on you don't want to publish it completely and then you can go back into your webflow dashboard then you're going to click on reconnect and then you're going to select your stellar site and then click on authorize app i could not realize that i hadn't created my site so once you have created your site and you've linked it then you can move towards your second step which is connecting your site so we're going to click on connect your site over here and once you do that you can connect with your shopify store so click on connect over here and once you click on connect, your uh, link between Shopify and Webflow is now ready. So we can see our store name as well as our Stellar site over here. And once you have completed this, you can head on over into Loop. So you don't have to, uh, you know, reconnect this over and over again. It does get connected. It just usually loops you back into the same onboarding. So after we have done this we can move back into our loop dashboard so we're gonna just go directly from apps into loop and then once you go into your dashboard directly you can then sync up individual sections such as your products your variants and much much more so this is the way that you can uh, directly link webflow with shopify one thing i do recommend is that if you are syncing up your store, as you guys can see over here, we have this site over here. Uh, try to sync up products individually in a sense where you're first syncing up products, then you're syncing up collections and each section of your Shopify store. Because when you don't sync them like individual products, it's going to make it difficult for Loop to work. It usually slows down. That can be a bit annoying. You guys can see these are all my products on my Shopify store. I can click on sync. And now it's going to start, you know, syncing on a schedule like this. And now we have our sync scheduled. And in this way, you can slowly migrate your Shopify info onto Webflow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.